Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to South Day Toyota for giving me time with the 2022 Toyota Tundra 794 edition. If you guys are looking for a cowboy themed truck here in the Tundra's lineup, the 794 edition is not going to disappoint. But let's talk about pricing here for the 794 edition. Starting price is at $60,600. And ninety dollars, including destination. This one stickers for sixty-five thousand three hundred and thirty-five dollars. If you're in the market for a Toyota, you can come check out South Day Toyota and ask for Wilford. He will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But let's talk about the front styling of the Toyota Tundra. Let's talk about the exterior styling here of the Toyota Tundra. This is the 794 edition, so this does have that nice cowboy-like theme in the interior. We'll talk about that in a few moments. This newer generation of the Tundra looks very aggressive compared to the previous generation. As you guys can see, this rides on an all-new platform, new exterior styling, new interior. We'll talk about all that in a few moments. But looking at this large grill here, I like the aluminum-like finish to it. There's the Tundra name, which is spelled out here at the lower part of the grill. There's LED fog lights, front parking sensors, front facing camera, also with this large Toyota emblem. As you guys can see here, my model just has the standard powertrain. It does not have the iForce hybrid powertrain, which we'll talk about the powertrain specs in a few moments. But looking here at these LED projector headlights, there's an automatic low and high beam with the sequential turn signal. And all this here in the front is gonna be functional to keep that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 cooled as possible. Also like the nice uh, bulges in the actual hood or creases. But stepping away from the Tundra here really quickly, looking at the side proportions, this has a 145.7 inch wheelbase with an overall lift of 233.6. So this is right on par with every other truck in this segment. Looking at these tires and wheels here, actually like this uh, finish here to the rims is, a, is an alloy-like finish. These are a 265 60 Bridgestone tire. They're wrapped in this 20 inch rim design. I do like the rim design here in the 794 edition. It looks really nice. There's also the 794 edition badge here at the, at the lower part of the door panel. There is this large chrome mirror cap here with this LED sight marker. As you guys can see here, my model does have this large panoramic sunroof. If you couldn't get that in the previous generation of Tundra, and really quickly looking at the brown, looking at the brown interior here, it looks really nice with that large 14-inch display. Looking at the bed length, this is a five and a half foot bed, and my model does have leveling suspension. So if you guys are towing very heavy loads and you guys hit that button inside the interior, it will basically level out the truck so it doesn't look like the truck is struggling to carry that load. I like this very sharp body line here. And making our way to the rear here, looking at these tail lights, it does have a sequential turn signal, signal just like in the front. There's the reverse lights here. Everything's gonna be a full LED. That's the four x four badge, your seven and four pin connector, and there's the tow hitch receiver down there. There's rear parking sensors. There's the Tundra name stamped on the tailgate. There's the Toyota emblem right there on the actual grab handle. And to open up the tailgate, very nice feature. Once you click that, and my model does have this power uh, step which pops out just like on the capstone model of the Tundra. So you can get into the bed like this very easily. But unfortunately, Toyota does not offer a handle, but I don't think you really need a handle. And this bed right here does have a composite material and the window does still fold down. As you can see, I can just basically stick my hand in there. And there's also this 400 watt uh, inverter there. Unfortunately, it's not like the Ford, which has a, an onboard generator, but there is LED lights back here as well. But getting down, the same way you get up, you get down so that's a very nice feature and once you close the tailgate it's going to take a few seconds to pop back underneath the truck and there's the visible exhaust trim right there but overall let's hop into the interior of the toyota tundra before getting into the interior of the toyota tundra as you guys can see this is a current key fob for the new generation of tundra there's a lock unlock a button for the tailgate also a panic button there's the toyota emblem unfortunately on the back of the key fob there's nothing this is a blank uh, space so i wish toyota would have put probably the 794 edition badge back here or the tundra name which would have been nice as you guys can see walking up to the tundra here and putting your hand behind the door handle as you guys can see the mirrors will power unfold and open up the door here there's these power running boards, very large door opening. As you guys can see here, my model does have this nice brown interior. Like I mentioned, if you guys are looking for a cowboy-like themed truck, this is the truck to go for. But getting inside the interior here, there's this grab handle. As you guys can see, great visibility out of this large pickup truck here. But reaching over here to shut the door of the Tundra. The push button start is right here. Once you do that, you guys are greeted by the Tundra name. And it says, and Toyota says this will show five additional, five different national parks once you start the truck up. But let's talk about the materials here on the actual door panel. Very nice, high quality materials. There's nice stitching with this aluminum painted door handle. You can power fold the mirrors in via this button over here. As you guys can see, the mirrors are power fold in and out. There's your mirror controls here, two person memory seats. There's the tail light for the actual bed, the automatic high beam switch, automatic start stop, your dimming switch, your trip reset computer, rear parking sensors, there's a heated steering wheel function, a 120 volt 
uh, plug right there. If you guys are wondering what this is for, let me roll, roll, roll down the window really quick. And once I press this, you guys can see, hopefully in the mirror, the step would deploy from underneath the truck. Hopefully you guys can see it. You can turn that on and off if you would like. We can have it set for auto. And the windows are gonna be automatic up and down for all four for all four windows. This area here is gonna be nice and padded. There's additional storage here. A cup, cup holder space is down there. This does have the premium JBL sound system, which sounds pretty good. There's the turn signal and headlight stock right there. One wiper stock is right there. I love this large steering wheel here. Really good position if you guys are doing a cross country road trip and whatnot. Nice perforated leather here. You can also customize this, as this display here. This is a full digital display. Um, as you guys can see, using this knob here to show different stuff like your heads of display. This does have a bright heads of display, as you guys can see right there. The materials really quickly on the dash are going to be a nice leather material. There's a, some storage compartment here with a 12 volt. That's a rear view camera mirror. You can turn it on and off if you would like, but it does look very nice once you have the once you have the mirror on. But looking back, looking back at the screen here, you can customize and show different things to your liking. Also, show your trailer controls and whatnot there, audio source your compass so you can customize this to your liking there looking here at this large 14 inch display very nice and bright display as you guys can see i do have the apple carplay connected and my iphone 13 pro max is right here there's your wireless phone charger the touch response is super fast and it does tell you when your phone is in the actual charging slot there going here to the ways it does take up the whole 14 inch display which is just super impressive and toyota did come to play when they redesigned the interior of the new tundra there's three level heating and cool seats this big knob here for the volume there's a usb port the materials on the dash nice high quality leather nice stitching and does have the 794 edition stamped on the actual uh, area right here this is actual real wood if i'm not mistaken Above me, there's this large panoramic sunroof here. I love the cowboy-like theme. Toyota did a really good job here with this, this interior. This is for the trailer backup assist. You can also access this perimeter scan around the vehicle so you guys can see if you're close to buy anything. Um, I think Toyota should work on the graphics of the Tundra. It looks kind of little, it looks odd um, right there, but there's the traction control here, the hazard button, and this does have that leveling uh, rear suspension. So if you guys are towing something very heavy and it looks like the truck is struggling, you can just basically adjust it via this button here. And it does display right here in the corner uh, what the truck is doing and whatnot there's a auto hold electronic parking brake putting the vehicle into reverse it does reveal a bright backup camera with a top down 360 view there's different angles around the vehicle there's a front angle there's different uh, things that you guys can look around the vehicle as well you see what the front tires are doing the rear tires so really good uh things that toyota's offering here with the tech department kicking over to the left this does house a 10 speed auto there's a sport mode in the transmission there's a two high a four high a four low this is a drive mode selector which shows you comfort eco normal sport sport plus and this does have adaptive dampers as you guys can see it does show you what it does when you put the vehicle in a different uh, mode and does that have and this also has a custom mode so you can customize that to your liking as a tow haul mode there's some gloss black trim here my bottle water fits just fine here and there's more of that nice wood trim nice area here to put your phone and whatnot open up this it does reveal a shallow amount of storage you probably put a small wallet there this area here is padded you can also slide this back to basically access the sensor armrest just in case you don't want to fully open it but once you open it up it does reveal a deep amount of storage that's a type c and a usb port there and there's two cup holders right here the seats are very supportive and comfortable like i mentioned they're three level heated and cool seats looking at the glove compartment really quickly it does offer two tier storage in there but overall if you guys are looking for a cowboy like themed truck with newer tech a newer design language and interior you have to look at the new tundra getting into the back seat here of the toyota tundra open up the door here as you guys can see very large opening so if you guys want to put your child seat back here you can definitely do that or you can access the back seat and my model does have these running boards which pop from underneath the vehicle but before getting back here really quick just pull this tab here and that unlocks the seat it does reveal some deep under four storage if you guys go for the hybrid option which is not available as of this filming and this is where the battery pack will live so unfortunately if you guys go for the iforce max hybrid you can't basically store any store anything underneath the actual rear seats because toyota puts the battery pack there but getting back here as you guys can see there's this grab handle once i get into this truck looking at the legroom space very impressive compared to the previous generation this is around 41 point six inches of legroom so plenty of leg space back here in the back seat of the tundra it's not class leading like the ram but it does offer a lot of space there is two map pockets for storage there's cup holders here there's three level heated and cool seats there's a type c port type a port as a household outlet rear air vents you can also fit a middle passenger passenger here the seats are supportive and comfortable and like i mentioned you can also let air and light into this cabin once you let down the glass window here it's going to be led lights throughout the cabin as well 
I'm pulling this armrest down here, it does reveal two cup holders. And I think this is the only truck in the segment to offer this nice feature here, which is these shades here to block out the sun and whatnot. The materials are gonna be nice to touch, nice leather, aluminum painted door handle. The switch gear feels nice. And I think this is a real wood, if I'm not mistaken. But overall, the back seat of the Tundra is very class competitive. I like the materials and also the nice features that Toyota throws on the 794 edition. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Toyota Tundra. Toyota will offer this with two powertrains. Let's talk about the hybrid option. That makes 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. It's a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. It does have a 10-speed in-house design transmission. As of this filming, I do not have that powertrain. I have the quote-unquote base powertrain, which is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. It does have double head over cam. This powertrain right here makes 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. It is paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission. Like I mentioned, it's an in house design transmission. And this is rated to tow 10,890 pounds with a payload of 1,745 pounds. Fuel economy is rated at 17 in the city, 22 on the highway, and 19 combined. So starting off in the 2022 Toyota Tundra 794 edition, uh, right now we're gonna do a city drive test and we're gonna hop on the expressway and just try to get the best fuel economy as possible. Right now I'm gonna um, basically reset the trip computer. So now we're averaging 0, 0.0 miles per gallon. Let's talk about the materials in here. Like I mentioned from the inside, seeing very premium, nice materials. Toyota did a really good job with this interior. This is one of my favorite trucks for 2022 as of right now. And I told you guys, I'm gonna try to bring you guys all models of the Tundra from the base model up to the premium top model, which is the TRD, uh, TRD Pro model. The ride quality in here is freaking fantastic. You also have this button right here to uh, adjust the suspension. I'm sorry, the button's right here. You can also adjust the suspension. So if you guys are uh, carrying heavy loads here on the Tundra, you can basically have the vehicle level out instead of it look like the vehicle is basically straining itself. And hitting some of these harsher bumps and whatnot, uh, this is the key fob that's jittered around in the actual cargo, this uh, area right here. So that's not the truck itself, it's just uh, some loose items that I have right here in the center console. But the ride quality of the Tundra is just beautiful. It rides freaking fantastic. This is the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. This powertrain makes 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Let's do a slight run here really quick. Let's come to a stop. Wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Let's, let me just go up a little bit. Let's come to a stop here. I'm gonna leave the traction on. <laughs> and this truck will get up and go like nothing. You guys can kind of hear a little bit of the tire squirreling, which like I mentioned, the traction control was still on. So that's kind of impressive that this truck could do that. Um, so really, I want to say it couldn't put the power down because you can kind of hear a little bit of the tires uh, screeching and whatnot. Like I mentioned, the visibility is great. You also have these uh, thick uh, eight pillars here. You also have this grab handle. So if you're short, you can get into this large pickup truck. Very large side mirrors here. This does have lane trace assist, lane active assist. Also with lane uh, keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, emergency braking, for collision warning. So all the nice features that you guys like from Toyota, they do offer it here in the Tundra which is just beautiful. This 794 edition is a really nice trim level. It does offer three level heated and cool seats. You also have three level heated and cool seats for the rear passengers, large panoramic sunroof, which the last generation of Tundra didn't even offer a large panoramic sunroof. It only had a standard size sunroof. Like I mentioned, beautiful upscale materials, nice stitching. I like this large digital display here. You can customize it as well. But this thing, <laughs> that twin turbo v6 this pickup truck can hustle and it will get out of its own way Toyota says this can tow up to 10,000 uh this can tow up to 10,890 pounds with a payload of 1,795 pounds of course you guys know when you add all these luxury features on the truck it's going to basically drop the actual towing capacity and payload capacity because there's so much materials and stuff in the inside and you guys can see there's a sonata next to me i can legit look over that car and the car looks so small compared to this big truck here. So if you guys want to have that king of the road type feeling, the Tundra is a really good uh, choice, especially because this vehicle is much bigger than the previous generation, if I'm not mistaken. You also have a nicer tech, like I mentioned, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. As you guys can see, this is a 14 inch display. If you go for a non uh, 794 edition, you can get an eight inch display. So you guys don't like this larger infotainment system, you can't, larger infotainment system, you can go for the eight inch display. 
but me personally, I like larger screens, so I will go for the 14 inch display. You can also get this 14 inch display on the base SR5 model. And you can hear a little bit of the outside noise. There's some dump trucks and stuff passing by, but the cabin is still quiet without those large trucks. As you guys can see, there's traffic passing by me and it's just really quiet inside this interior. But we're gonna hop on the expressway right now. Toyota says it's ready to get 17 in the city, 22 on the highway and 19 combined. Right now, the truck is saying that it's 10.5 miles of average fuel, but like I mentioned, I've only been driving for a few minutes, so it's not gonna be the best right now, but we're gonna get on the turnpike here, and then we're going to set the adaptive cruise and let this thing do what it does. And this thing handles in Sport Plus mode. I don't feel like it's gonna topple over or anything, but... <laughs> and that's highway speed right there. This thing is beautiful. I love this powertrain. But getting up to highway speeds, I can kind of hear a little bit of the wind from that passenger side. I'm not sure why, but I can kind of hear a little bit of the wind whistling. But let's go ahead and set the cruise control here. Okay, and everybody gets on the turnpike and drives like a grandma. But let's set the cruise control to, the speed limit here is going to be 65. So I'm going to set it for 65. And like I mentioned, this does have active lane trace assist. So basically if I were to drift out of my lane, which the truck is not gonna do because I have the guidance lines on here, but just cruising here at 65 miles an hour, I do hear a little bit of wind noise, uh, but I was getting onto the turnpike. It was like a little whistling noise coming from the passenger side. So I'm not sure um, why is that even happening. But, but once you get up to highway speeds, the truck simmers down, it's in a sport plus mode, but let's put it into its uh, comfort mode here because you have multiple settings compared to the Limited and the SR5 that I showed you guys um, a few weeks ago or, or, probably, or probably about a month ago. Uh, right now, so I'm averaging around 12.5 uh, miles per gallon. Like I said, this is a short drive, so I can't really test the fuel, fuel economy to see what we can actually get. And I'm getting left behind in traffic here, so it is asking me to keep my hands on the wheel. But as you guys can see, this vehicle does a really good job of keeping itself in the actual lane here, which is really good. So my hands are off the wheel, but I recommend keeping your hands on the wheel at all times. But this thing is really quiet. You can also, you know, look at this vehicle really good. You also, you also have this rear view camera mirror here. You can basically flip that, flip down if you, die, if you guys don't want to see that actual mirror. And it's beeping at me to put my hands back on the wheel. This is not a full uh, autonomous driving seat. Fortunately, if you signal left or right, the vehicle would not change lane for you. So Toyota hasn't gotten to that um, autonomous driving as of yet. You guys can hear the truck was beeping because it kind of drifted over the, the lane. But just driving this truck, this truck is very smooth. It doesn't feel harsh, even with nothing in the actual bed. It still drives really good. Great commanding view, nice tech. Like I mentioned, very large infotainment system here. But if you guys are looking for a cowboy-like themed truck, Toyota did build something even more special in the new Tundras lineup. After spending time with the 2022 Toyota Tundra 794 edition, hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at drive one reviews and hit that subscribe button and i see you all in the next review